If you're looking to build and launch real internal AI apps and automations that actually solve real business problems, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna show you this awesome tool called Riff, which claimed to use AI here to build AI apps that solves business problems, with over many leading companies are using Riff here to develop their business solutions, and many working templates for internal tools like sales, finance, marketing, operations, and so much more. We're gonna see how we can be able to use this AI builder tool to basically build AI apps and automations that really solves the actual business problem here. And also with the Riff builder plan and also the professional plan, you also get a human support for the building process if you ever get stuck. And in this video specifically, I'm gonna show you exactly how we can be able to use Riff here to be able to build a simple bookkeeping applications like this, which we can be able to use Google Maps or Google Drive and Google Sheets for the third party integration here. So with that being said, if you're interested, let's get into it. Now to get started, first thing first, gonna log into the application. Here you can see that we're in the riff.new slash home. And what we can do is that we can be able to use one of the templates that they have. For example, here you can see that if we were to navigate to the templates um, page, here you can see that there are different use cases like sales, finance, marketing, operations, supports, and so much more. So let's say we're focused on finance. Here you can see that one of the template they have is payment tracker expense extractor here, right? Which is really just converting expense or the invoice here to a structure ledger entries in using AI. So what we can do is we can be able to use this, right? We can be able to start building on top of this. But here in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can be able to do this completely from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a prompt that I developed using AI and basically have Riff here to create this application application all the way from scratch. All right, so in terms of the prompt, basically that's what it looks like. So basically building an application that automate my business bookkeeping and first connect my uh, Google Drive to basically let me select a folder where I save all my business receipts and these receipts are mixed with PDF and photos and create an app that automatically scan this folder and find a new receipt and basically uses the OCR system here to read it, extract the key information like the vendor name, transaction date, total amount, the expense categories, and use AI here to guess this, like meals, software, office supplies, and so much more. And after extracting this data, I wanted to add it to a row onto a Google Sheets, name it 2025 Business Expense. And the columns here in my Google Drive should contains the following columns here. So what we're gonna do is once we have the requirements defined, we're just gonna have the riff here to build this application. So you can see I'm just gonna submit this request and let's see what it does here. So here you can see right away, we have navigate to a new screen for this new project we're trying to build. So it's gonna plan these next steps. All right, so now you can see the first thing first, what it does here is it's gonna plan for the receipt booking keeping automation applications. So it's gonna be a receipt booking uh, bookkeeping automation here, automatically scans the Google Drive for receipts, extract expense data using OCR system, using AI, and logs the transactions onto Google Sheets. So that's what we're trying to do. And these are the key features. So the Google Drive selector monitoring for new receipts and also the OCR AI extractions of the vendor name, um, date, uh, total amounts, tax amount, and also the receipt link, and also the AI power expense um, categorizations, automatic logins and processing the status tracking to avoid duplicate entries. And here are the integrations we're gonna need. Google Drive and Google Sheets. So in this case, once we approve this, we can start to click on build the projects and let's see what it does here. All right, so right away, you can see that we're breaking down different stages, setup, planning, structuring, designing, and also building. So currently we also have our bottom, at the, at the bottom here, we have a progress bar, which shows the current progress for the development here. So in this case, let's wait for a bit until it fully completes for the development. All right, so here's what it looks like after it has done the build for the first version here. So right off the bat, you can see that we have our title for the page. This is what the application looks like, which basically scans the Google Drive and logs the data to Google Sheets. Here's a setup, which is basically we select a folder, start doing the monitorings, and log the data onto the Google Sheets, onto this 2025 business expense here. There's also the expense logging, which will log all the expense onto here on this table. And here on the right, we have our chat window, which is basically a conversation with the AI. And here you can see that we have our list of tasks that are ready to build. For example, we're gonna create a functional landing page with UI, and also set up the Google Drive and Sheets integrations, as well as develop AI receive scanning from the Google Drive. So here I'm just going to start with task one, but here you can see, let's say if we're unsatisfied with this task, I can also be able to click on this task and would add additional comments, or we can also be able to delete this task. So here I'm just gonna click on confirm, delete this, and be able to proceed with the second task. I'm just gonna say start this task. 
So here you can see that it's gonna work on the setting up the Google Drive Sheets integration. And here are their plan. So here are the sub tasks, which is to enable the Google Workspace integrations, creating endpoints to the list out the Google Drive files from a folder, and also creating endpoints to write to the Google Drive Sheets, uh, Google Sheets, and test both endpoints, verify the connections work correctly. And here you can see that at the bottom, it's asking us to connect to our Google Workspace. So in this case, I'm just gonna click on the connect to my Google Workspace here. And here I'm just gonna click on continue in terms of the integration. All right, so now you can see that the Google Workspace integration is now ready and enabled. And here it's gonna install the required dependencies to create the backend endpoints. All right, so now you can see that after it has worked on the task two, now it's asking us to provide the Google Drive folder ID as well as the Google Sheets uh, spreadsheet ID. So here I'm just gonna provide that here. So I have a Google Drive folder which contains a list of receipts for expense. Here I'm just going to provide this for the Google Drive. So the Google Drive folder ID is this one. And here, if I were to navigate to the Google Sheets, here I'm just gonna also copy the Google Sheets uh, sheet ID and also paste it here inside of the Riff. And here after I provide those requests, here I'm just going to send this request to Sheet ID and have Riff here to complete this process. All right, so now you can see that after we some testing here, basically you can see that it has extracted eight receipts and basically I have them uploaded into a Google Drive folder and it has basically uploaded them into Google Sheets. And here is what it looks like for a table for extracted receipts. We have the date, vendor, categories, um, the subtitle, tags, and total as well. And also here we also have the files for the receipts. And let's say if I want to upload another receipt, I can do so as well. Simply I'm just gonna upload the receipt here and then you can see that it has scanned the receipts and here you can see the receipt has been added. Here are the dates, here's the vendor and also here is the category, subtitle and so much more. Okay, all right, so pretty much that's how you can be able to use Riff here to build a full stack applications for your business AI app and this is how you can be able to use it and just to check out more things that the Riff offers, if we click on more here, you can see that there's also other things we can offer, like we can preview the applications, we can be able to build out a plan for a to-do list on how the AI is gonna build the applications, and there's also the integrations on what are the third-party apps we can integrate to our applications, like the Workspace, Google Sheets, Gmails, and so much more. And if we were to click on more, you can see that there's also scheduled tasks, database and users, storage, secrets, access, and so much more. Okay, and there's also the co-editors where we can be able to edit and view the code for this project we're trying to build. So I have already have this open. So basically if I were to click on the editor here, I can be able to see the changes here, right? So this is a React application, which this is the app.txx, and we also have the app provider, right? Different files here, the HTML, the TS file, the styling, and so much more. Okay, so literally we can be able to make changes inside of the code. And of course, after we satisfy with the changes here, we can also be able to click on the deploy button here to deploy the changes for our application. So after we have made those changes, I'm just gonna click on deploy and it's gonna start the deployment and sync the changes so that it has the latest change for this application. Awesome, so now you can see that after we have deployed the application, this is what the application looks like, which we have all the receipts display here. All right, so pretty much that's how we can be able to use Riff here to basically build real AI apps for your business. And in terms of the pricing here, this is what it looks like for the pricing. So we have our starter plan, which is a free tier, which includes the data integrations, AI templates, one app included, and so much more. And then there's also the builder plan, which we have unlimited apps and also two collaborators and deployments are also included. And what's most important here is that there's also the human support as well, where you can be able to interact with a human here to, be able to help you to get unblocked on a certain task. And then there's also the automatic securities and so much more. So that's gonna be the builder plan. And then there's also the one tier above, which is the professional plan, which you get pretty much everything for the enterprise integrations, the unlimited unblocks, and also prioritize support as well, where you get a one-on-one -on -one training for this, how you can use these products. So pretty much if you're looking for a professional options, then definitely you can try this out. All right, so pretty much that's it for this video. If you do find value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribing for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video.